So, first thing you're going to do is up on um, eBackpack, I have the documents that you can take a look at. So, what we're doing is creating a bar that's 12 inches in length, has to weigh under half a pound, and the bar must hold 500 pounds with a factor safety of one. So, what we're going to do in SolidWorks, the first thing you're going to do is create your bar. The bar can look like whatever you want it to look like, a variety of different designs. Um, material has to be specified, and then you're also going to have to run through a study on it. So I'll just make up a quick bar. If we're going after just rectangular channel, I could say that it is four inches tall, two inches wide, and Eighth inch wall on the top, quarter inch on the side, and we'll get that extruded out to the 12 inches. And then if you look at the document, it does say it needs a half inch diameter hole fixed within the first inch and a half. So what we're going to do on this face is I'm going to bore a half inch hole within the first inch and a half. And one inch, that is where the bar is going to be fixed. So I'll extrude cut that through. The entire document. And that's where the bar can actually be fixed at. So to turn on our study and start taking a look at our study now, we need to go to office products. And we're actually going to turn on the simulation. So we'll turn on SOLIDWORKS simulation and you'll see that a new tab will appear up on your tabs. It says simulation and this is where we can go ahead and start our new studies. So under study advisor I'm going to say new study and we're going to be doing a static study because this is going to be fixed at this point. It's going to be loaded and there's going to be no uh, frequency, there's going to be no motion. It will be static in nature. So we'll check off our static study, and under our feature design tree now, we start taking a look at this new list of stuff that pops up. Um, this is where we can actually edit the material of the part. So the material up here does not matter. We need to edit the material here. When we start looking at materials, we know that this part needs to be under half a pound in weight. So if I apply an alloy steel, it has a very high yield strength but we know that the density is high and so the weight is going to be high on this. So if I apply an alloy steel, when I go to evaluate this and look at the mass properties of this, you can see that this is already one pound. So we're twice as much, we need to be under half a pound. So I need to look to different materials Want the material to make this to work. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go after possibly an aluminum alloy or something of that nature that could possibly give us a good yield strength but the density is almost half of that of the the steel so you can look at your materials and do some research on the materials to determine which uh, material might be better off or better suited for you so the density yield strength you can apply the material and we can do an evaluation once again to look at the mass. We're still at one pound. So we could look at, like I said, other materials to determine that. I'm not going to play with the materials for now. Um, you guys can go ahead and take a look at your materials as we go. To start studying this, the first thing you do is fix this location. It's as if it were being connected by a, a rod and this was physically welded. So under our connections and fixtures, we're going to apply a fixed, or we're going to apply a fixture that is fixed geometry. So I'm going to right click, say fixed geometry, this hole and this hole are going to be fixed. So we can check that off. And under our fixtures now you can see our fixed hole. Our external load, we're going to add a force. Alright, there's a variety of different things you could add. Centrifugal force, gravity, pressure, um, temperature, we're just going to do a force to start. And on this face, 
we want 500 pounds loaded. We don't want it loaded uh, equally or uniformly on this top face. We're actually going to apply it to this face and I'm going to put it English and IPS in a selected direction and the direction of that force is going to be along this face and you can see we have the downward angles now saying there's 500 pounds of force applied there so I'll say 500 pounds make sure it's in IPS not 500 newtons but 500 pounds check that off and we have our fixture and we have our force next thing we need to do is apply a mesh to this so we'll right click on our mesh and we're going to say create mesh and the mesh is how fine or coarse we want this to, to kind of run. So for our sake, we're just going to leave this at the center. And we'll say check. It will go ahead and create the mesh. And you'll see that you have this mesh applied over your uh, design that is actually going to help with the study. This is what actually looks at the material and analyzes the material within these fine little meshes. So as I said, you could create a finer mesh, but the finer the mesh, um, the more memory intensive the operation is and the more accurate your results will be, but more memory intensive the operation will be. All right, so our mesh is checked off. And at that point, we can go up to our simulation and actually say run the study. Once again, this is where the memory comes in, where if you have a fine mesh, it may take a little longer. So now you can see the strength of the material is at, uh, you know, this 470. And the applied force that is listed here in the Von Mises um, is under that. So you can see as we load this bar with 500 pounds, um, we start to see the blue is the cool area, meaning it's not affected at all. Start to get to the green and the reds. Those are where the forces are getting closer to our yield strength. If we approached or hit our yield strength, this would be a failed design. Okay, so this design works, but it does not yet work for the uh, assignment because we are under—we are not under half a pound.